Hey guys, let's get more news about Steelers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Analyst names which remaining Browns game likely means the most to fans. With a 3-8 record, there is virtually no chance that the Cleveland Browns will make this season's NFL playoffs, and the rest of the season, to an extent, will be used to evaluate some of the team's young players, as well as quarterback Jameis Winston. Cleveland is coming off a surprising and thrilling win over the hated Pittsburgh Steelers on Thursday at a snowy Huntington Bank field, and it was the type of clutch victory that their fans will likely remember for the rest of their lives. On 92.3 The Fan, Nick Wilson and Jonathan Petterlin posed the question of whether Brown's fans would rather go 5-1 to the rest of the way and lose to the Steelers on December 8 or go 1-5, to with that one win coming over the Steelers in western Pennsylvania. Wilson said he believes fans would take winning just one more game against the Steelers, thus sweeping the season series. The Brown-Steelers rivalry is the oldest in the AFC. For roughly the past 30 years, the Steelers have won the majority of games against Cleveland, but over the last few years, Cleveland may have been starting to turn the tide a bit, especially after their big win over Pittsburgh during the 2020 playoffs. Choosing to go 1-5 to the rest of the way would have an added benefit for the Browns, as it would improve their draft positioning and increase their chances of landing a star there. The thinking is that they would love to draft a franchise quarterback, but some feel they will target another position, such as their offensive line. Russell Wilson made his fourth consecutive start of the season for the Pittsburgh Steelers on Sunday. The veteran quarterback led the Steelers to an 18-16 win over the Baltimore Ravens at Akershur Stadium. The Steelers' coaching staff has teased the idea in recent weeks of using a package of plays that they could feature quarterback Justin Fields with. The former Ohio State standout started the first six games of the season, leading Pittsburgh to a 4-2 start while Wilson recovered from a calf injury. On Sunday, Fields came into the game for the Steelers' final drive. Pittsburgh led the Ravens 18-16 with 1.06 left in the fourth quarter. Baltimore had all three timeouts remaining, so the Steelers needed to gain a first down to run out the clock and secure a victory. Fields ran a designed run on second down and 10. The fourth-year quarterback ran for nine yards but chose to slide to avoid contact short of the first down. Several football content accounts on X posted about the play, with many criticizing Fields for not making a more aggressive move to convert the first down. They thought the decision to slide early was a mistake by Fields. Steelers Insider offers injury update on long-lost vet, wouldn't hold my breath. Pittsburgh Steelers Insider and veteran beat reporter Mark Cabley published a mailbag on November 25, answering a long list of questions from fans. Two revolved around long-lost injury absences. Can we anticipate linebacker Cole Holcomb coming back at all this year? One Steelers supporter asked Cabley. His response didn't instill much confidence. I haven't inquired but I wouldn't hold my breath on it, Cabley replied. Similarly, he doesn't expect to see rookie wide receiver Roman Wilson for the remainder of the 2024 campaign either. I find it hard to believe that, Wilson, will play, again this year, Cabley told a different Pittsburgh fan. I look at it as a red shirt year for Wilson. He looks fine to me out there working out with the other injured players, but you never know. To me, the lack of reps as a rookie and overcoming two injuries is too much to ask out of him for this year. The Steelers have rolled to a record of 8-3 without Holcomb and Wilson, and head coach Mike Tomlin has already made it clear that he'd rather not force players back into the rotation after long periods of inactivity. It is very difficult to get on a moving train, Tomlin said of Wilson on September 24, after his initial preseason injury. That statement likely holds even more weight now, being that the Steelers are entering a very crucial final stretch of games. Holcomb's recovery from knee surgery has been bizarre. In June, Tomlin confirmed that the veteran defender was on track for training camp, yet here we are approaching Thanksgiving and there has been zero sign of the linebacker. 
Steelers now beat reporter Alan Saunders joked that Holcomb looked as if Pittsburgh placed him in witness protection on September 22, sharing a picture of the missing vet as he watched from the sidelines, sunglasses included. Cole Holcomb still has a sleeve on his left knee, Saunders updated at the time. He's among the big group of Steelers that could return after the bye. His shirt says, don't care work harder. No one seems to know where Holcomb has gone, or if he suffered some sort of setback. After all, the Steelers have been well-stocked at middle linebacker with Patrick Queen, Alandon Roberts, and rookie Peyton Wilson all joining the organization over the past two seasons. Still, most around the Steelers community appear to feel for Holcomb, hoping he finds his way back. Seems like every other month optimism turns to pessimism and vice versa in Cole Holcomb's knee recovery, Pennsylvania journalist Michael Beck aptly noted on November 8. Not sure if we will see him back in game action this year, but really hope to see him play again. Justin Fields, predicted to turn Steelers down on new contract. The Pittsburgh Steelers entered the 2024 season unsure of what their future at quarterback would look like in 2025. Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, and Kyle Allen were all signed to one-year contracts before the regular season. Justin Fields went 4-2 to start the season while Russell Wilson recovered from a calf injury. Wilson has looked impressive, leading the Steelers to a 4-1 record since taking over in Week 7. The veteran quarterback has 106 more passing yards and two more touchdown passes in one fewer start than Fields. In his mailbag on X, Steelers insider Mark Cabley answered a fan's question about how Pittsburgh's front office would navigate the offseason with Fields and Wilson. Cabley wrote that Fields and Wilson will receive an offer, but Fields is more likely to turn down an offer from the Steelers, especially if Wilson stays. Try is a relevant term, Cabley wrote. Sure, they will try to sign both of them if you mean going to Fields and saying, we would love to have you back at a backup price. But, if you are Fields, why would you do that? The best thing that could happen to Fields over the final six games is that he doesn't get on the field much, if any, and let those six games he started at the beginning of the year stand alone. Cabley thinks several quarterback needy teams could sign Fields in free agency. Fields has completed 65.8% of his passes for 1,106 yards, five touchdowns, and one interception this season. He's added 274 yards and five touchdowns on the ground. Wilson has completed 63.1% of his throws for 1,212 yards, seven touchdowns, and two interceptions in 2024. The Steelers enter their Week 13 contest against the Cincinnati Bengals with a one-game lead in the AFC North. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Kevin Stefanski? Leave your opinion in the comments. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Justin Fields? Leave your opinion in the comments.